Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this video, we'll use a BMP180 sensor to display temperature and barometric pressure readings. To follow along, in addition to a Raspberry Pi board with a micro SD card with the Raspberry Pi OS installed and a power supply, you'll also need a BMP180 barometer sensor which captures temperature, barometric pressure, and altitude, and interacts with the Raspberry Pi over the I2C interface. The sensor has four pins, GND, which gets connected to the ground on the Raspberry Pi, VCC, which gets connected to five volts on the Pi, and the I2C pins, SDA, which connects to the Pi's SDA I2C interface pin, and SCL, which connects to the Pi's SCL I2C interface pin. Here, I've connected a brown jumper wire between the sensor's SCL pin and the breadboard, and a white wire between the sensor's SDA pin and the breadboard. Then, I ran a brown jumper from the board to the Pi's SCL pin, and a white jumper from the board to the Pi's SDA pin. Now, with the circuit in place, we could take a look at the code. First. I want to point out that this script that we're looking at here utilizes another file named bmpsensor.py. You don't have to make any changes to the BMP sensor script, but I want to show you that in this code, there's a comment indicating that we need to install the Python SMBus package, which we'll do after we upload the code to the Pi. Now, back in the test BMP script is where our functionality is actually implemented. And because the BMP180 sensor interacts with the Pi using the two I2C pins, we don't need to create any variables to hold the GPIO pin numbers like we've done in prior videos. In this case, the BMP sensor file we've imported will handle the communication between the sensor and the Pi for us. All we have to do is make sure we've included the file and that the file resides in the same folder as our test BMP script. Now in the main processing loop, we start out by declaring variables for temp, pressure, and altitude, which will be populated by calling the readBMP180 method on the BMP sensor. Then I've created a variable for the temperature in Celsius, which is just equal to the temperature that's returned from the sensor call. Then a temperature in Fahrenheit, which we derive via this calculation. Finally, I have print statements for the temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, the pressure, and the altitude. Then we'll sleep for five seconds before executing the loop again and getting the current values to print them out. So that's it for the code. So let's jump into a terminal and push it up to the Pi. Okay, so I've SSH'd into my Pi in this terminal window, and I've created a folder named weather to hold our code. And in another terminal, I'll push the code from my local development machine up to that folder on the Pi. Now, in order for our code to work, we need to install the Python SMBus package. So in the root of the Pi, I'll create a folder to clone the code from a GitHub repo, then execute the clone command, which I'll provide in the description below. After the clone completes, change directory into the cloned folder and execute the following commands, which I'll also provide in the description. Now, after executing the second command, you'll see that I have an error. Now, this command is provided in the package's documentation, and if you don't get the error, you should be good to go. However, if you do get the error, you'll need to execute the following command. Then finally, before executing the code on the Pi, you'll need to enable the ITC interface if you haven't done so already. And you can do that by executing the following command in the terminal, which you've used the SSH into the Pi. When the Raspi config menu is displayed, use the arrow keys to select the interface options menu, then I2C, then yes to enable I2C, and finally finish. Then execute the following command to reboot your Pi after enabling I2C. 
When the Pi reboots and you've reconnected, change into the project folder that has your code and execute the test script and you should see the temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, and the barometric pressure printed every five seconds. Now, because this script is running every five seconds, there obviously isn't much change in the values. So here's some sample data that I collected over several hours with the script running every five minutes. And you can obviously see a change in the data over this time period. So that concludes this video on using a BMP 180 sensor to display temperature and barometric pressure readings. If you found it useful, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to be notified when I add more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another Raspberry Pi video soon.